So why does China hate John Cena? Because John Cena is asshole. So let's get right into it, folks. We're going to talk a little bit about F9 and its China box office release, and mostly because we already covered John Cena's extensive apology in our previous podcast, which you can catch, and um, Noob Noob translated from the original Mandarin into John Cena's. I did. And he gave it all of the gusto. He so accurately depicted... And, and what we realized is that John Cena is now more contagious than the coof in China. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know if he's that, but he's definitely uh, he's definitely box office poison right now. At least that's what it seems. Because he's going to take the brunt of this. So, for those of you unfamiliar, John Cena had to publicly... Well, he didn't have to, but he decided to publicly apologize to the Chinese people because he... Um, if you don't know anything about it, Fast and Furious is its largest box office is in China. So the bulk of their money is made there. And they decided to release it early in China. John Cena was doing a press junket and he said that Taiwan was the first country to be able to see uh, the Fast and Furious 9. China's like, how dare you? Taiwan is our country. Yes, they broke the one China rule and John Cena immediately went groveling back to China and apologize to Mandarin. So the results are in and weekend over weekend, F9 falls 85% yeah. amid weak reviews and John Cena's controversy. John Cena costing him about 200 mil. Yeah, looks like the Universal film, which is a tentpole for uh, a really big release for them, hoping to make a billion, only got to two, 211 million. Rejected. Which, which is a lot. Which is a lot, but it's about half as much as the, as the last Fast and Furious, right? The last two. Um, what, the last two combined? No, last two. The Furious 7, Fate of the Furious, both made 390 plus million. Yes. Well, we'll get into the details here. So it looks like, uh, yeah, it only made 20 million its second weekend, which is, which is not good. Yeah. Not for them. So, and of course, there's lots of awesome puns in the Hollywood Reporter here. As Chinese filmgoers have hit the brakes on Justin Lin's F9, the Universal tentpole downshifted 85% in its second weekend. After two laps, the Vin Diesel John Cena action flick, they meant two weekends, has totaled 185.3 million. That's slightly ahead of where Hobbs and Shaw, which is, you know, a weird spinoff that I don't, I don't know that it had a lot of cars in it. Just had Hobbs and Shaw. Being British and Hawaiian or Malaysian, <laughs> Hawaiian. Yes, Mawan. Maorian. Maori. What is the rock? He is Polynesian. <laughs> there you go. There we go. One of the. That's a sauce though. <laughs> from Chick Fil A. Oh my god. Oh my god. The rock is a sauce at Chick Fil A. That's <laughs> He's so saucy. That's great. So it looks like the Furious Seven and Fate of the Furious. Uh, as Noob Noob said, Fa- uh, Furious 7 made 390.9, and Fate of Furious made 392, two years later in 2017, pretty close to each other. Well, F9 is only going to make 211. Yeah. Far inferior. I mean, it's good money, but not what they wanted. Clearly, China has no problem throwing money into the theaters right now because a Chinese comedy, Hi Mom, made 825 million. Hi Mom! So. Yeah, well, they're back. I mean, eight hundred twenty-five million is pretty. For a comedy is a lot. Donkulous, yeah. yeah. And then they're not, you know, they're not sure of his humiliating, uh, his humiliating gaffe. I, I, again, who cares if you insult China? I mean, if you want to make money there, China is. I so you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, but they are saying that the Chinese market tends to be front-loaded, which means that the moviegoers go the first weekend, and if the real-time word of mouth is bad or the reviews are bad they're not going the second weekend or did they just realize that he's a white monkey and they hate him ah oh, yes so you're saying that we should go and actually discuss what's the most interesting part of this is the white monkey aspect. the whitest of monkeys John Cena is a white monkey and not because he is a Caucasian man it is because any foreigner overseas that shills products in China is considered a white monkey. 
So here we have John Cena. Um, dressed in, a, in white. Dressed in white. Dancing like a monkey. Not really. He's just shopping in a supermarket in Yin Shaun. And this is for the WWE. So this is probably why we would get hit with a uh, copyright strike. But you can see him <laughs> here as he wanders his way through a fish market explaining things. Now, he does not speak Mandarin here, but he does say in the video that he lives there. And apparently John Cena was not that famous of a wrestler. And I guess he had to rebuild his career after he retired or went to work for the WWE in China. We're not sure about any of those things. But um, as he went along here, it's clear that he is a white monkey shilling products. And we're going to set up a link here to a really great video by another YouTuber named uh, LaoY86. And this guy educated me quite a bit as he showed their... John Cena is not the only white monkey in town. Your favorite demigod, oh my god, Loki, is hawking Centrum energy pills. They do love pills. themselves some Brits. So as you can see, this is a, a woman waking up to a breakfast. Or is it his Chinese Loki, wife? Or his Chinese that wife he that bought. he never told anyone. He probably bought her. And look at this perfect egg that he makes her. Look how perfect yeah, this that is, is. That is over easy. And he isn't speaking in English, but he's trying to sell them vitamins because the Chinese market really, they, they really believe in the uh, Chinese um, Eastern folk medicine. medicine. But they thought it would be a good idea to try to sell them vitamin supplements, which did not work. And who better sale. than white people? <laughs> Who better than than uh, Loki to do that? A semi-famous British guy. And, you know, look how handsome and dapper he is. China does seem to have a hard-on for dapper Chinese, or not Chinese, dapper uh, British white men because it appears Benedict Cumberbatch also messes around with this stuff as well where he's out and about uh, shilling different products for the Chinese. Uh, who else here? I feel like there's someone else that, the, yeah, let's see. Not a huge fan of the goatee. Look, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, there's some other people, too. Oh, oh, there's a good one. If I can find it, I believe it is Nicolas Cage is in here somewhere. Oh, my God. Well, what doesn't that man what do? What does not he do? He does it all. What is this? Oh, they're giving us ads. Just take my word for it, yeah. Nicolas Cage. He eats a Chinaman's booty hole for money. Oh, my God. I don't know if you would agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> what, what makes you think like that? Like the bees in The Burning Man. With, or, no, The Wicker Man. Ah, uh, like the bees in the yeah. Wicker Man. He is yeah. screaming into a Chinaman's butt. I don't know about that, but what you can do is you can show up, and if you want to work in China for you know a couple hundred bucks a day, maybe a hundred bucks a day, you can pretend to be a, a animal goat, goat or a cow or whatever something. Something. As long as I get milk, I don't care. <laughs> as long as there's milking and it involves you, you're down. Hopefully, chalky milk. <laughs> the best kind. The best kind. So, have you decided on your new career there, Noob Noob? I'm going to be a noob monkey. Ah, uh, they that's the best kind of monkey. I will be paid in banana peels and Centrum. Gotta and, get them vitamins. Uh, you know, I will be a healthy person living in China. <laughs> Probably learn Noobanese. Yes. And, uh, you know, have a lot of egg rolls and stuff. Will you learn Mandarin? I will not. I will have Mandarin oranges, though. <laughs> you will make no effort to learn the native tongue. I dog. will not. Not at all. The Mandarin is a villain in Marvel, and I will not support him. And what's a mandrill? A uh, mandrill, I believe, is a form of penguin that is sexually aggressive towards parakeets. It is not. That's not true at all. No. It, it sounds not. right, though. How did I make that up? There? It is one of Noob Noob's misfacts. Okay. Mandrill is a type of monkey. Is it really? Yes, it is. Penguin and monkeys are kind of close. Not even close. Oh, all right, then. No. Birds and bees and monkeys. I never had the birds and bees talk. Ah, uh, yes. So, uh, we thought we'd give you a little bit of education. We'll have a link in the video to this uh, new white monkey job video, hopefully, in uh, if YouTube is not as ho and lets us get away with this video. Um, but um, from all of us here at Our Views Will Kill You, please like, subscribe. If we have earned your likes and we have earned your subscribes, press Noob Noob's buttons and whistles. Make sure you hit those notifications so and you get all the freshest videos. If you don't Noob subscribe Noob. soon enough, we will have to move our talents to China and become white monkeys. And they're don't, sex slaves. Don't, we don't want that. We would like to stay here in America. Because we love America. Don't let me be milked, people. No, don't let him be, be milked. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. As we go. Ow.
to the next one. Uh -huh.